Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Giant Squad here on the channel. Please be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I would really appreciate it. But today we are playing the Arizona Cardinals here today. They are 76 overall. We're an 87 overall team. I did nothing to my team. I didn't upgrade it at all through the past week that I haven't made a Giant Squad video. So if you guys will see more, do what I said before. And let's get started here today, and let's receive the ball, why not? Alright, this is the third episode of the Giant Squad on the brand new season on the channel. So, today's question of the episode is, will the Giants have a better offensive line than last year? Will that be the case? We're about to find out in today's episode. I'll be explaining all my thoughts and opinions about that question in today's episode. So here we go. So the Giants, they have an okay offensive line. It could be a lot better. A lot better. Let me just say that. It could be a lot better. So who we got starting at the offensive line? We got Eric Flowers at left tackle. We got Justin Pugh at left guard. We got Weston Richburg at the center position. We got John Jerry at right guard. And we either have DJ Fluker at right tackle or Bobby Hart. That's probably going to be DJ Fluker because we did sign him in the offseason during free agency. So that's what our starting offensive line looks like. Now, with, you know, last year our offensive line was a big major problem in our offense. And that's why, you know, our offense wasn't that great last year. But I believe it will be somewhat better this year. Enough better for the offense to be a top 10 offense in the NFL. Or top five. I, I think it can happen. I think it can happen for sure. Eric Flowers, what I've heard in off season is that he's been he stayed in uh East Rutherford, New Jersey during his off season to continue training to get himself better, get himself in shape, to improve his footwork, to improve all these things that make him a better offensive lineman. And I, I, I really appreciate that. I I give him I give him a round of applause for that because if he wants to stay on his team and if he wants to be a big part of this offense and he wants to contribute and make sure we have a great offensive line, that's where you start. By, by fixing those little mistakes that make you such a better player. And Eric Flowers, hopefully you do become the first round pick you were in uh, 2015. Hopefully. Hopefully that is the case because... We haven't had a good offensive line since we won the Super Bowl. Honest to God, we haven't had a good offensive line. And right there, we scored a touchdown with Rashad Jennings. And we need an offensive line that can block and make plays such as that right there. And make the running back. It's not going to be Rashad Jennings next year. It's going to be Paul Perkins. My man, Paul Perkins. Look at Rashad Jennings with that spin and move right there. He's making plays. I'm liking it. We're already going into the second quarter with an 8 nothing lead. But right there, the left tackle, Eric Flowers, needs to improve if we want to have a better offensive line. Not just him, the whole offensive line in general. Justin Pugh, we, we need you healthy this year. We need you healthy, man. That, that was another key of why our offensive line had, was really bad last year. Just plain out terrible. And if we have everyone healthy on the offensive line, for sure, it will definitely be better than last year. Anything, any improvement at all will be better than last year. And I think that can be the case. Oh, come on, man. Jack Rabbit, got to make the pick right there. We need Justin Pugh healthy. We need Weston Richburg, you know, to not get suspended from games. Or not suspended, get ejected out of games. You saw what he did uh, last year against the Redskins. He was Josh Norman. And that was... Uh, unnecessary roughness call or whatever it was and he got taken out of the game because he got two of them and we we don't need that from our offensive line as well we don't need that that's just plain right bad playing by an offensive line and we don't need that we need an offensive line that is there for eli and doesn't get him sacked like right there we need an offensive line that can protect eli he's getting into his like, later years in his NFL career, he, his career could be almost over, or playing to win, and we need an offensive line that could protect Eli, have a nice running game, and, you know, just good enough to 
go to the Super Bowl, right? We need a, we we gotta make the Super Bowl this year. It's win now for Eli Manning, and hopefully this could be the case. With the offensive line improving, with team chemistry, like we making team chemistry this year, if that could be if that could be the case. Cause you know this is another year this offensive lines play together, and this is like third year I believe now that they're all playing together besides DJ Fluker, and if they can you know make and build up that team chemistry and make plays and stay together. They can they could be a good offensive line, but they have to learn, they have to practice, they have to make they have to make better plays during this whole season for sure. Fix up the mistakes, those tiny mistakes to make you better in the long run. That's what we need out of this Giants offensive line. I think it can be the case, but we'll see. Time will tell for sure. We're gonna throw it to alright, throw a pick. At least it was a touchback, alright? It's in the second quarter anyway, so guess what? We're kicking off the ball anyway, so it's all good. We still got 8-9 lead. We are playing the Arizona Cardinals. And, you know, that that's my thoughts pretty much on the Giants offensive line situation right there. Tell me your guys, what do you think about your opinion on this situation? What do you think about the Giants offensive line? I know it's one of the, it's probably the worst. Yeah, it's the worst in NFC East. Not the worst in the NFL, but it's pretty bad. But hopefully they can definitely improve this year. And we can't let Michael Floyd, that guy that got suspended. Oh my god, he can't. Hmm. Hmm. He's not even on the Cardinals anymore. Alright. Congrats right there, Michael Floyd. Congrats, buddy. Alright. They're going for two right here. We gotta stop this. Alright. David Johnson. No good, buddy. We do have the lead, but we have to make sure we can put some more points on the scoreboard right here because this is this is a big game we must win and if we do win we're allowed to get one player from the arizona cardinals team and add them to the giant squad as i can do for the eagles the redskins because we did beat them so far and if you missed previous episodes of the giant squad be sure to check them out down in the description box down below there's a giant squad 2017 playlist for this season's uh, series of the Giant Squad, and I talked about Brandon Marshall coming. What else did I talk about? I talked about the Giants defense will be a top five defense. If you guys want to see what my thoughts are on those questions, be sure to check them out in the comment section down below, or in the comment section in the description box down below, where there's a playlist of all my thoughts on those topics. All right. All right, Eli Manning going to throw it right here to Odell Beckham Jr. And Odell Beckham Jr. is able to get his way past the first down marker to reach a first down. We got to just run out the clock maybe or score some points to be sure we do have this lead. We definitely have to score a touchdown on this drive because it just needs to happen. Throw it to Brandon Marshall, 98 overall. We can use our wide receivers more. I've been running it most, mostly in the game, so hopefully we can get wide receivers more involved in this half so let's try and make it happen brandon marshall wide open right here and he's gonna catch it and run for a nice gain and that that was pretty good pretty pretty good i just noticed the video stopped uh recording so i'll be right back in just a moment Hey guys, unfortunately the end of the video did corrupt and there's nothing I could do about that But we did end up pulling a W 24 to 6 was the final score and we did beat the Arizona Cardinals With that score, uh, but we did win So that means we are allowed to pick up one player from the Arizona Cardinals one player to add to the giant squad as long as one player from the Redskins and one player from the Eagles since we did win those three games we can add one player from each of those teams to the giant squad and you guys haven't left any comments for who I should add to the Eagles or Redskins and now since we beat the Cardinals that would be nice if you could tell me three players I could pick up for the next episode of the giant squad because you know it would be cool to add some other players that could actually help and win us some more games for the rest of this season on the channel uh, but other than that, guys, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and on the next episode, we will play the New York Jets here on the channel, and that's going to be exciting. So, that's all for you guys today. Rock Soldier 72 signing off.